My name is Kimberly Lisicki. I will be teaching seventh grade science at Cashman Middle School, and I'll also be doing seventh grade magnet science and engineering. I'm ARL, so I had a different job before this. Before I came to the classroom, I was working in a research lab for five years. I worked in the Center for Oral Health Research, the lab I was under, did a lot of um, oral cancer research. I did histology, which is taking any sort of tissue and making slides from them for the pathologist to look at under the microscope. Atomic number tells us the number of what? Protons. And it's the same as the electrons, right. I became a teacher because I've always had it in the back of my mind that I wanted to teach for a long time. And my entire life I've had help from my parents, from other teachers, from mentors. Um, so, you know, even though I did the hard work, somebody was there to guide me along. So I figured I'm at a point in my life now where it's my turn to give back and help somebody else who's younger. The notes from yesterday that you filled in with, with me and the graphic organizer with the circles. Study these tonight. Classroom management style, I really just want to nail the procedures down so the kids know what they're doing every day. It's very structured and organized. They're going to do the same thing that they did the day before. Tomorrow is going to be the same thing that they did when they walk in the classroom. Everything's going to be the same. Um, and then even walking to the library or to the lab will be set up so they know what to expect and what they're doing. Okay, then we moved on to Adams this week. Smallest possible unit, which matter can be divided and still maintain its properties. Remember, we have that golden nugget. So I had a different job before this, and if anybody else you know, worked a different job before they became a teacher, really try and incorporate that in and, you know, let the kids know that, you know, you can, you can have a career and, you know, that will lead you to maybe another career. You don't need to necessarily know, like, I want to be this when I grow up for sure and definitely, you know, things change over time and everything you do in school is relevant to what you're going to be doing, you know, in your life. It's all about being a positive role model when, you know, in this day and age there's a lot of not so great role models, um, really guiding the kids down the right path and steering them away from going down the wrong path and, you know, potentially having a life of constant uphill struggle where as I could teach them, do the hard work now and then you can play later. That's that's my whole mindset of that I've had my whole life is work hard first all and always and get it done. And so I would like to instill that upon them as well.